Now, can I turn it over to you to add your, your thoughts? Um, thanks, Nevroz. So, a um, couple of points here. As, uh, people talked about uh, diversity, uh, whether there was going to be greater extinction uh, as a consequence of, am I paraphrasing or have I gotten it completely wrong? So, I see, yes, okay. So, I'm going to take off from there because it also ties in very nicely with Nevroz's question to me. Um, and I, I, so, Let's step back a little bit. I think the evidence now is pretty well, pretty much established that yes, anthropogenic climate change is occurring. Uh, now, Michael Mann, who's uh, an expert in this space, uh, was at the US Senate very recently, and he's got this wonderful book, if you all want to look at it, which is called Mad uh, Climate Madness, where he's collaborated also with a New Yorker cartoonist, where he said that 97% of the scientists in the world agree that there is anthropogenic climate change. Uh, despite you know, the President of the United States, I think we can all agree on that. The reason that we are still at a space of inaction is because we, we are still trying to figure out what to do. And I think I'm much more sanguine than a lot of people in this space because I think there is a light at the end of this tunnel. Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky have done a lot of work in what is now called behavioral science or behavioral economics. And what it says is that they have also, Daniel Kahneman is the, I think one of the very few Nobel Prize winners in economics, although his actual train is in, training is in psychology. And what they find is that people react to many other things other than just evidence and knowledge. Evidence is knowledge, and knowledge is one thing. But because of inertia, because people don't want to change their behavior, etc., you need other nudges. And there is now an entire school of thought that is basically building on this. You have what is called the Behavioral Insights Team, uh, which was started by David Cameron in the UK, which has now experimented with very, very easy, simple things so that you can change behavior. For example, sending people letters which say, Oh, you haven't paid your taxes. Guess what? People who get these letters usually pay their taxes on time. It changed tax paying behavior from people who had been defaulting repeatedly, dramatically, just because people don't want to look bad. So I think there is now a lot of research being done in what can induce better and more uh, responsible action. We have to spend time and money doing it.